Hello guys, welcome back. I'm Saddam of the Bears. This is Station Years. And now I need to think what I wanted to do in previous episode. Like, I can't remember, but I think I need to see that LED face who parked his ship on, on top of my roof. So let's go there. Maybe that thing has something good for sale. I, I will hope... He has maybe a, a heavy a suit, or I can't remember what's the name for it. But we will see in a sec, right? Oh, shoot. <laughs> the airlock wanted to suck me in. Okay, don't, don't get confused. So, right, LED phase is here. What do you have, yo? Oh, hard suit. Yeah, that's exactly what I want. So, I want only one. And what next could I buy? I think this is fine. Just hard suit and that's it. So confirm. So I have only 1000 space credits or space dollar or whatever. Or maybe, I don't know, Canadian rupees. So let's go back to, to my base. And I think I will start from there. And I'm always forgetting, guys, like, uh, if you do like what I do, hit that subscribe button and maybe a like and comment. So let's find my heart. Oh, here it is. My heart suit. All right. So this is it. Let's try to open my helmet. Temperature critical, but I am alive, right? Like, minus 14 is fine. Hopefully I won't die. We will see in a few seconds. So let's go into the battery room. So I will shut down this door, just like that. Not shut down, just shut shut it. And this gas fuel generator will heat up this room just a little bit. So I think I need to be here because it is very, very loud. But I'm allowed. Okay, temperature is low. It's not that horrible as it was. All right. So, one degree, that was fast. So, how can I do this crap? Temperature low. Yeah, we know, we know, but nobody cares. So, hmm. This is my suite, so I need to change everything from there. So, this is the suite which I have right now, and this is the other one. Alright, so... Let's change everything. So I need air, I need waste tank, I need battery, and maybe some filters. Like filters are always good. And I wanted to complain about something, but I can't remember what it was, guys. So I'm really, really sorry. I can't remember what it was. Maybe I... No. No, I, I can't remember, but maybe I will remember when... I will play, so let's do finally something. Enough of talking. Temperature tri critical? No. Oh. <laughs> yeah, let's close the fishbowl, which I have on my head. So, this goes for scrap. Is it empty? Yes, it is. Bye. And what about a better helmet? Where can I get the helmet? Is it tool manufacturing? If it is, I need to go downstairs. I have it over there. So I will check it. Because I can't remember. Oh, the helmet is here. Nice. What? Stellite and Astroloy? Like, really? No, please. I don't want to make any alloys. So maybe I need to. So... Stellite and Astroloy. Stellite, okay. So, till I will get upstairs, I won't remember what it, what it was. So, Stellite and Astroloy, and let's try to find Stellite and Astroloy somewhere. Like, I think I have it somewhere. So, okay. So, I do have Astroloy here, and what about Stellite? I don't have any Stellite. Oh, shoot. This is not good. And of course, I don't want to kick everything out of this machine because it will be horrible to get. Okay, so 
Stellite and Astroloy. Alright, so if you don't know how to find the recipe for Stellite and Astroloy, press F1 just like that. Then you have a search bar. Astroloy, right? Just like that. And we need Copper, Steel, Cobalt. Alright, Astroloy is easy. But what about Stellite? Stellite. What? Item Stellite Glass Sheets? What? Silver, Silicon and Cobalt. I'm sure I do have Silver. But I'm not sure if I do have Silicon. And what about the Cobalt? Hmm, so how can I do it? What about the temperature? So the temperature needs to be very very high and the pressure between 10 and 20 MPa. That's not bad. So I'm going to check my warehouse and I will bring silver, silicon and cobalt. So I saved the game guys, just in case. So this furnace is almost ready to work with uh, the stellite, but I need to get all the gases from it. So this will take a while, crocodile, but I do have the resources prepared. This was 250, right? Yeah, 250. So I think that's 500 silicon and 250 silver. So let's get this puppy over here, maybe into this locker. And I will need 250. Is it 250? Yes, 250 silicon. So that's oh, silicon, cobalt. So this will be 150, just like that and i need 100 more piece of egg right <laughs> so we have 250 cobalt here all right is the bonus empty not yet come on so i still need to wait just a little bit more okay so this ingot shower is still working that's a very good now let's take a look on the gas fuel generator and the batteries. Everything is fine. So I think I will run this generator. And maybe I will get there finally. So guys, I'm really sorry for this delay. But if you want to see how to make a stellite, then let's do it. And I think it was between 10 and 20 MPa, right? And the temperature needs to be very very high so everything is fine so let's get one mpa of the fuel in the furnace i think everything is all right so let's do the stellite so let's get the uh, one mpa so 300 400 600 all right 800 and maybe there's a little bit more than 1 MPA, just like that. So let's ignite the fuel. 39 MPA. And 2103 degrees. Ouch, I, I think I did step into something. <laughs> I don't want to say what it was, right? But it smells really, really bad. So silicon and silicon. Just like that. Everything is inside. Like, not everything, but I'm working on it. So, 50 cobalt, 100 cobalt, 150, 200, and 250 of cobalt. So, let's take a look what is happening inside the furnace. I would say everything is running smooth. Like, uh, we do have a very small temperature drop, which is fine. And uh, when you are trying to do some kind of a alloys or something, my advice would be use a little bit more fuel. So you need to get high pressure. Then you put all the, I would say, regions inside. And when you have a high pressure and high temperature in your furnace and when you are melting those things inside the furnace, like the, the temperature drop is sl smaller or 
lower if you if you have a low pressure and high temperature or any temperature then uh, the temperature will drop a lot if you don't have like uh, some good pressure inside so we have silver and silicon now we will get another uh, temperature drop because we are smelting the cobalt and I hope I hope we will have or I will have good temperature so I need 1526 degrees so I do have all my fingers crossed and maybe I can do it maybe <laughs> I think this will be very very close guys all right so 1560 so I need 1526 oh shoot look at this so I just need to lower the the pressure inside the furnace and everything will be fine so I need between 10 and 20 MPA so let's do it all right so 40 35 30 so I think maybe I can slow it down just a little bit so between 10 and 20 MPA that's piece of cake just like that and we can see I will get stellite so I will open the furnace and we have stellite 250 grams or G not grams 250 G let's go downstairs so 250 G of stellite but maybe I think I should split this stupid stellite because I will need I will need it for sure for something else so let's get the uh, not the credit card I'm not a woman <laughs> <laughs> sorry <laughs> stupid jokes right so 50 just like that and stellite so 50 50 so I think it will take maybe 100 no I, I think 50 will do yeah 50 is fine so let's go downstairs stellite goes inside the tool manufacturer and I need astroloid but I'm not going to make any astroloid because I am a lazy lazy mofo so where did I see astroloid oh shoot it's here oh no okay so I don't want to split the stacks in 250 let's do 500 just in case and let's see what happens if I will open this puppy so this was the asteroid is it yes that's the asteroid so now I can close the machine so asteroid goes there and I will return everything back into electro printer like uh, I would like to move the electro printer downstairs but I think not in this episode because I would like to have a better helmet because maybe if i will hit a wall one more time maybe two more times my helmet will be damaged or destroyed and i'm sure i will die so this is set to 50 all right so this is 50 and the rest is 35 yes yeah, so let's take 35 i go downstairs just like that and i think i can print hard suit helmet oh shoot this goes very slow but don't worry we will have it mm, do i want a better jetpack oh shoot okay n now i see now i see vaspaloi mm, e even better like i don't want to do any any more smelting in this episode because i would like to have a tank like a big tank outside of my base but I need to print some tanks so let's find tank tank insulated I think this is it what I need silicon again where do I have silicon I'm sure I do have silicon in this puppy oh shoot it's, it's empty okay so I stole the silicon already this is bad because if I don't find any silicon in my base maybe i will need to do some mining oh shoot i am not prepared again for this episode okay so this is my new bucket <laughs> oh, yeah. 
or a helmet temperature critical why I'm alive right I think I am I'm not dying yet so let's go back I will recycle this helmet because I don't want it it's a piece of crap basically like a paper bag so what do we have here nothing so I think I need to do some mining or do I have a oh I have five silicon here but five I think is not enough how much silicon do I need for a tank 30 oh shoot that's not good I'll be back I'm back from the the mining trip like uh, the mining was very easy so I do have some extra silicon here and I do have some silicon as well in this corner so let's get it out just like that so oh 300 all right so that's not bad and what should I do with 300 silicon I think I'm going to toss it into hydraulic pipe bender what oxides here how the hell oxides did get over there so it's minus five here if i will leave it maybe in the battery room the oxides would melt on on its own and i do have some kind of a feeling like uh, the gas fuel generator is not consuming a lot of fuel like uh, i could be wrong so please do not quote me on that all right so the oxides are melting <laughs> okay so the the ball is running or rolling around we don't have time for that and i want it to get uh, some tank so how many tanks do i need for a large insulated tank i think it's four or five i can't remember so i need to wait for the tanks and then I'll be back. But what about this crab here? Maybe I need to store it somewhere, like uh, at least temporary. So it's 50, 50, 50, and 50. Okay, so 50 there, 50 there, and I think I will store this 100 somewhere. Or should I combine it into one? Yeah, maybe. Maybe I can combine it into 100G ingot. So let's do it with the labeler, just like that. And that's it. So 50 and 50. And we do have 100G stellite ingot. And that stellite ingot will wait. What? I'm printing insulated, insulated tanks. And I have insulated tanks in the locker. What? <laughs> guys i'm really really sorry i didn't see them but i will need i think atmospherics unit at least one so atmospherics one please oh shoot this goes slow as well but i will wait for it and i will need co2 filter so let's switch this to something else and where can I get the filters in hydraulic pipe bender right oh shoot so that's the atmospherics unit and I want carbon dioxide medium filter this is it I think it is so I need to print at least one and do I have any cables in my inventory? Yes, I do. Perfect. That's good. I didn't know if I do have or not. I know I have pipes outside, uh, like in the in the locker. So this goes there, this goes there as well. And I will take this carbon filter. So I think I can go outside. Like it is going to be dark, but I think I'll be fine. You remember that picture with that dog in a room on fire and the dog says like this is fine right <laughs> so oh shoot i need the pipes and i do have the pipes in this locker so 15 15 pipes i think it will do 
So let's go here and I'm just thinking where I should put the tank. Let's do some kind of a eyeballing on it. Where do I want it? So this, this is going to be the room downstairs and I will need the power of course. So let's do it maybe, I don't know. Maybe just like that or just like this. I don't know. Hmm, I'm thinking guys. Uh, maybe, maybe this way. I don't know. So this is going to be the pipe. And, oh shoot. I need to place the atmospheric unit. First, probably. Maybe, hmm. What about, oh shoot. This is not good. This is not good. I see it already. This is not good. It is too close. Oh, okay. So, I need to move the tank. So, with the drill. Yep, with the drill. So, I will move the tank here. I would like to have plenty of space. In space. So, this is the filtration unit. Just like that. And I will place it probably here like uh, i'm sure i'm going to move it 20 times but for now i think it will be fine here so just some pipes just like that then i need to connect these two puppies and i need to connect oh shoot 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 i'm not sure if i can if i can do it well this looks like scripted right and i do have plenty of pipes do i have or not so let's connect it just like that and now i need a carbon filter here and i need to connect it with the power and oh should i need, i still need two more pipes but that's fine i'm not going to cry about it yet just like that this will go inside the base and I think this will be perfect so let's go inside and I will try to finish what I started because I would like to move all that CO2 uh, from this tank which is here and the CO2 is very cold I would like to move it over there like uh, almost next to the to the greenhouse so I think I'll be fine. Right, so cables and the wire cutters, just like that. Let's go inside. So I need to just connect it with the pipe. And I do have the cables. But I think I need just the pipe. I'm finally in my greenhouse and I'm going to connect this pipe with this pipe. Just like that. So everything is connected. I don't see any explosions yet, but I think I still need a little bit of wire. Just like that. And oh shoot, I forget. I think I forget turn on that atmospheric unit because I would like to move the CO2. So let's go through the base and I will do it from outside. Right, come on, come on, come on. We don't have time for this. Like, uh, come on, it look like uh, when viewers are watching this video, you are making them waiting. So they need to wait for the airlock. And that's not what I like. So let's go through this airlock as well. And I will cancel the depressurization. <laughs> I almost broke my tongue, so let's go to the roof and I will start the atmospheric unit, like, like the filtration unit. Is it filtration unit? Yes it is. Now it is running, so let's go back and now I need to disconnect or reconnect this. So this goes offline. Just like that and I need to what do I need to do I think I need just connect these two pipes so oh shoot 
I need a wrench. Oh, wrench, not the crowbar. So I need to connect this guy and these guys over here, just like this. So if you if you say if you heard some words during this video, like a, just like that, or this is the way. <laughs> and if you are an adult, you can take a shot. So let's see what do we have here. All right, so the the pressure goes down. That's good, and we can see. Like everything is mixed in the tank right now. Because I connected those pipes. But when I will go to my brand new CO2 tank, we can see maybe it has only CO2 in it, which is perfect. So guys, thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next one. This is the way.